Today, Elispot nerds all over the world can rejoice in happiness as Mobtech releases Mobtech Astor, an Elispot only reader that is accurate, fast, and ridiculously easy to use. Based on the same Rawspot technology found in his big sister Iris, Astor delivers a level of performance in Elispot only readers previously unseen. And in this tutorial video, we show you the basics of reading, counting, and exporting your data in the most optimal workflow plausible. We initiate our session by double clicking on the Mobtech Apex software icon, logging in through the admin profile in the welcoming window, and then under new plate, selecting the Elispot assay principle of our choice. Okay, let's show what Astor can really do. We hit the read button and the already loaded strip plate starts being read immediately by the Astor system. The XY table is self-calibrated on startup, so that's nothing we have to do. Every single image from the Elispot plate is captured in 12-bit image raw. The exposure settings have been calibrated individually by us at Mobtech headquarters prior to shipping each Astor unit. As a result, you get unbiased capturing of Elispot images. The raw spot algorithm that counts the spots works in the image raw domain. We don't have to fiddle with any sort of camera settings. Everything of that sort of nature is done in post-processing. Thresholding of spots that you are interested in versus not very interested in is very easy to do. We have provided a Mobtech default setting, uh, which you can always return to by pressing the reset button, which is a good starting point for most Elispot experiments. Let's go back to plate view and explain something fundamental about how the preset system works. We can press the show preset button and get an overview of how the presets are currently divided in the plate. Here, Mobtech default normal is used for all 96 wells. We can add a preset by pressing the Add Preset button and configuring it according to what we want. We can name it Christian Fav, we can name it Infongamma for Analyte, and we can also make adjustments to brightness, contrast, size and intensity. Once the preset has been created, it can be applied to the plate view by selecting the wells you want, right-clicking, and selecting the newly formed preset, Christian Fav. You can then later confirm that the new preset is actually applied to these particular wells by again pressing the Show Preset button. After this short explanation of the preset system, let us together save our plate on the desktop as Elispot P1 and go through the overall structure of the generated plate folder. First and foremost, we have the JPEG plate subfolder containing an overview of the entire plate with spot numbers. On the left hand side, fundamental information about the plate reading can be found together with user and machine ID. JPEG well contains the individual Elispot images in high resolution. Plate history records all changes ever made to the plate and its integrity is controlled by our built-in checksum system. The preset folder is a graphical overlay of which settings were used when the plate was saved. Raw data contains our image raw files. The Excel file is always automatically generated upon saving of the plate. Care has been taken in naming all the tabs and making them logical to understand. Before we go deeper into the Excel file and how to optimally work within it, we must first go back to our Elispot plate and add the so-called layout labels. This is an essential part of our Apex software and it will speed up your data processing a great deal by utilizing it. Here, we start by first adding a new label under Analyte, Int from Gamma. After naming the label, let us use drag and drop so we select all 96 wells and then press OK. Next stop is Stimuli and here we have four different combinations. I deliberately add in A, B, C and D in the names for medium, unstimulated, PHA and anti-CD3. We'll explain why a bit later. Finally, the replicate numbers are added as seen in the video, absolutely crucial for pivot table functionality. We resave the plate and a layout subfolder has been generated inside of the plate folder. 
With the first plate analyzed, labeled and saved, we can now create a plate template by pressing here under the information section. Apex prompts us to name and save the small little template file anywhere we want on the desktop. Let us name it template Elispot. We now want to analyze plate number two, and we can do this by easily loading in the template file from the desktop. As a result, the layout labels and the presets are carried over to plate number two automatically, and all we need to do is press the read button after inserting it into the Astor. One minute and 45 seconds later, we are done, and the plate can be saved on the desktop as Elispot P2. As an alternative to the template function, we can also use save as in order to carry over the layout and preset data to a new plate we want to analyze. Start by making sure the plate you are gonna read over is saved on the hard drive. Insert the new plate and press read. A pop-up warns us that the data will be overwritten, but since it is already saved on the hard drive, all is good. Once the new plate has been read, we must make sure to use the Save As button found up here under the Information section. Just like with Microsoft Office software, the old files are still intact in Elispot P2, as long as you have used Save As. The new plate, the third one, we save as Elispot P3 on the desktop. With the three plates saved safely on the hard drive, we can now take advantage of the great export functionality in Mobtech Apex. Load in the three plates simultaneously, press the export button and select All Open Plates Excel. A combined database for all the three plates can now be saved on the hard drive. Open it up, select All and insert a pivot table. This functionality is built into Excel and allows you to process large amounts of data in a very ingenious way. Tables are built by dragging and dropping the different variables you want, and depending on their arrangement, tables can look the way you want them to. By help of the layout stimuli category and replicate number information added in Apex, our pivot tables become perfectly aligned for the type of data arrangement we as scientists want to have. For example, please note how the A, B, C and D added under the layout stimuli in Apex here serves a smart purpose. Since pivot table sorts its data based on lettering, this little trick gives me the order of stimuli I want within the pivot table. And without the replicate numbers added, Excel cannot understand how we want our data to be shown for plate P1, P2 and P3. You can process a massive number of plates this way. In fact, why not design your whole project around properly labeled templates combined with Excel exports as shown here. For a study with 50 plates, you can easily save days of work in data processing. We can now mark our table and insert a so-called pivot charts. Here, the fields for each category can be changed from within the graph itself, which is of course helpful. Copy this graph into PowerPoint and impress your colleagues on the next weekly lab meeting by doing changes on the fly within the PowerPoint. It's the ultimate nerd revenge. That was it for this initial look at Astor and its optimal workflow. Please subscribe and share our video. Elspot reading has never been easier and please recommend this video to immunology colleagues that are new to this technique. All the best from Stockholm.